Hi everyone, welcome to Chedarius Plays Ultimate Online. I play Ultimate Online on the UO Renaissance Shard, and I um I made a thing uh, a few years ago. Quick uh made a PowerShell program, <coughs> excuse me, that um took the houses.txt from the server and created a UO auto mapper file. And UO auto mapper is very old and uh, doesn't work directly with the classic UO client. Um, and I still wanted the houses on there because I think they look neat. Um, so in the uh, classic UO client, there is a uh, world map feature um, you can actually directly use any of your old uo auto mapper dot map files um, in there if you wish to um, if you've installed it with the uh, uo renaissance launcher that quick has made um, it comes with a bunch of of the default maps uh, uh, map files um, in uh, my client, I set a uh, macro uh, to open it because uh, I don't think by default it does it. And I don't really use the, the radar uh, map all that much. So I just do uh, a uh, control slash uh, to uh, open up the world map, like question mark, like where am I? Because that's also the question mark key. Um, so you can just set that up, and uh, I just clear out the uh, the the other the other map radar one. <clears throat> uh, it's kind of nice. Uh, it'll track where your guild mates are. Um, it'll show where your party members are. It'll show your pets on the map, um, and uh, and now it will uh, show all of the houses on the map. And I'll show you how to do that in a second here. So um, I've just created a, a GitHub. Uh, I branched the uh, the project that Quick had posted up on GitHub um, and uh, created my own. Uh, so it's a... Uh, branch uh, off of his master branch called UOR Houses Position uh, World Map. Um, I've posted this on the um, UOR forums on uh, Quick's post uh, farther down, but I may make a separate one uh, in Helper or something like that at some point, so it's easy to find. Um, but uh, make sure you're looking at the world map tree so you can go to UO house position, UOR house positions. Um, and by default, it's going to say master, and you want to switch that to world map so you get the updated code. <clears throat> and then you can just go to this little drop down for code and say download the zip. Uh, and then I'm going to show in here. And then you can just right click on this and uh, select extract all and extract uh, and it will open a folder with the world map uh, stuff on here and here is the uh, PowerShell script if you're using Quick's launcher then this is the default location for where it should go. Uh, it should go into C U O R Renaissance Classic U O Data Client, and then I've called it U O R Houses dot CSV. If you've installed Classic U O to a different directory, or you need to put that in a direct different directory for any reason, you just need to change that path to whatever you need it to be. I'm just going to use the default here. 
other thing that you may run into trouble with is uh, your execution policy setting. <clears throat> so the safest thing to do, um, by default, it's uh, restricted, which doesn't really allow you to run any PowerShells. Uh, a safer and more useful way is to uh, uh, open up an administrator um, PowerShell. So uh, you can just go to your start menu, type in PowerShell, say run as, uh, click on run as administrator, and it will open up a uh, administrator PowerShell. And you wanna type in this set execution policy dash execution policy remote signed slash scope uh, local machine. And you can just paste that right in there uh, and run it like so. Um, and it will uh, change it so that um, it won't automatically run any PowerShell scripts um, that someone else is trying to run uh, uh, through, you know, a download or anything else like that on your machine. But you can run your own PowerShell scripts just fine. And you can check to see what your execution policy is in PowerShell by using git dash execution policy. So if it says remote signed, you are good to go. Uh, and <clears throat> uh, you don't have to run um, this uh, a script inside of a PowerShell shell thing if you don't want to. You can just right click on it and say, run with PowerShell and uh, it'll say, hey, uh, do you uh, want to run this file? And you can say, yes, please open. If you don't ever want to see that again, just click that and say open and it'll, it'll just run that file whenever you want. So here it's automatically downloading. Uh, it's clearing out the, UL, the existing urlhouses.csv uh, and it's downloading the houses.txt file from the server and it's offsetting them so that they are positioned properly um, on the world map. Um, usually just takes a few seconds. There we go. So the other thing that you need to do to have this work properly um, is uh, you want to put this um, these icons. These are scaled uh, icons that I've taken for all of the different housing types that are listed in the map. If you don't have these uh, set up in your classic UL icons folder, they won't show up on the map. They'll just be dots. Uh, so we want to go to our C drive, go into UL Renaissance, classic UO, data, client, and there's a map icons folder in here. And you want to copy all of these. Um, and they must be named this way because um, this is how the houses are named in the houses.txt file. You just want to copy these into the map icons folder. And I'll just replace the ones I got in there. All right. Once you do that, uh, you'll be able to log in Ultima Online. And uh, probably by default, um, it will see that file and load it. But if it doesn't, you can go into map marker options and um, there should be a UOR houses uh, setting here and you click on that and boom, you've got houses. Uh, so you can see they're scaled pretty close to uh, what the, uh, the map needs, but um, the world map does not scale icons as you zoom in and out. So you can see here that as I zoom out, the icons stay the same and they start getting closer together. So um, this is the, the, the zoomiest setting. This is a set, this is the closest you can, you know, the, the, the furthest you can zoom in. And uh, you can see all of the, the icons there and they're a little bit, small this is the second level uh of of zoom uh shows them pretty much as they are on the map 
Um, you know, you can see how things are, are, are placed there. Um, you know, I'll just wander around a little bit here. So you can see, you know, I, I, I'm right up against the house and my dot is right up against the house. Um, it's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Okay. Um, so, uh, and you can zoom out one more level and that's not too terribly bad. And it gives you a decent overview of the map. So you still can see what's going on there. Um, and then after that third level of zoom, you zoom out again, it's just going to show you the name um, of the the type of house that is there. Um, and if you go out again, it's just going to show you uh, a yellow dot. Uh, and if you go out, you know, if you keep on going out, you'll see, you know, just yellow dots. So that is the UO classic UO world map housing update um, and script. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, have a great one, everyone.